Well, hello, you guys. Happy Sunday. Um, this is June the 28th, 2020. It's almost the end of this month. It'll be July. In the next, what, couple of days? Wow. This month went by real fast. But here's the deal, you guys. <clears throat> I know um, this is my version of my collard green. Look how big the leaf feel, you guys. Wow. But anyway, I know my, um, if you see on my profile where <clears throat> I just kind of had a little short video. And, you know, you guys, thank you guys so much because I got a lot of view on my collard green, right? Um, I got like 514 likes. So here's for the people who like, you know, when I make my collard green and stuff. And I got over 31,613 views on my collard green. Now, I'm going to go by step by step, you guys, because I do want to go ahead and show you guys, you know, how I make my collard green. And here's all the ingredients, you guys. I use turnip, you know, onions, pepper. And, you know, it all depends on what I have in my refrigerator. But this right here is really good. It's called Hickory Smoke Pork Bacon and stuff. And I'm just showing you guys the ingredient, you know. Because I'm not going to just go and just show you guys how, I, you know, I wash my green and stuff. You know, that's going to take a little bit of time. But I'm just showing you the basic, what I put in my collard green, you guys. Uh, because I see you guys like my collard green and stuff, so <clears throat> I just put maybe about two teaspoons of apple uh, vinegar, chicken broth. Well, only reason I'm showing this, but I usually put hot salt, just a little dash of hot salt, salt, fresh garlic, crushed pepper, and you know what? I really don't use black pepper because I just see all of my ingredients. I usually use. You know these kind of pepper but anyway i'm gonna get off this i don't want to stay on too long but i'm just showing you guys again because a lot of people request how you know how i make my uh collard green and these collard green is how i'm from east texas right so these collard green look how good so these is seven bunch because what i'm going to do i'm going to freeze it so if i ever want some of my collard green you know i have some you know and I will freeze it so I won't have to be worried about cooking. Because it take take time when you cook fresh collard green. And like I said, I'm from the south. And <clears throat> I'm just going to show you a little quick version. Where the, a quick, all the ingredients that I add, you know, to my collard green. Okay? So, like I said, keep watching this video. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and start washing my collard green, you guys. Okay? Yeah. The girl, um, and thank you guys so much for 514 likes on my collard green, and plus 31,613 views that came through because they, you know, watch they view my collard green. Okay, all righty, you guys. All right, so just keep watching, and you will see what's cooking in my kitchen. Okay, because I'm going to cook some steak, potatoes. Oh, my God. All right, huh? All right. I uh, see so you. Just keep watching. Okay, now, you guys, what I do when I cook my collard green, I always saute, <clears throat> even though this is already cooked, but I always saute my meat, whatever types of meat that I cook, I saute this. Plus, I could have always saute the onions and stuff, you know, just to get it, um, well, really people like that bacon dripping, because this is, if you see right here, see where it say bacon, and that's really good when you do fresh collard green, okay? So, I just want to come back, well, I just want to show you guys how I do my meat. So what I do now, I, I always like to wash my meat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice it like this. So that way, see how I'm doing it? See. 
See how I'm doing it? I'm kind of slicing it in thin slices, and I'm going to saute that. See how? That's how I'm doing it. Okay. Just showing you how you guys, how I cook my meat. Okay, see how I cut it? And now what I'm going to do is, even though, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and when, see how I slice it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and cube it because people cook collard green. You know, when I say cube, show what I'm talking about. And you will see it because I'm a, when I say cube, because sometimes you want to taste the bacon, you know, you don't want it too big. So I gotta go ahead and go like that. See how I do it. Just kind of make it small in the in a small cube. See like that. That's how small I'm gonna cut it. Okay. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna I'm not gonna do all of it and stuff because I you know I'm just gonna do this much. And this right here, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the, my uh, freezer bag. So next time I have some more left over. So this is the only thing that I'm going to saute the onion. Okay. So this is how much I'm saving. I'll just put the thing back in there. And this is what I'm gonna, how much I'm going to saute. And all the reason I left these whole because I don't want too much of that little cube in my collard green. So that way. Okay, now I'm going to saute the meat. Just add maybe about a teaspoon, um, even though this is gonna make its own bacon and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna throw my onions in, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let the, I'm gonna put a top on it. And just let, let it saute. Or it get, or it could get all the bacon, the seasoning stuff. See how I'm doing it? This is my version of cooking my collard green. Nobody else. Oops. Oops, sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's a blooper right there. I got my little stain. kind of slide out. Oh, well, you see where I'm going with this? Okay. So, once I wash all my green and stuff, you will see the onion below whip down and put my bacon. Okay. You guys so I already know wash my green but could you believe this is seven bunch I call it green and look how much and then it when it start cooking probably be half of that wow so my green is washed yeah. guys I just transfer my onion and meat into a bigger Hot, like you probably saw when I first took the mice. So this is this is what I'm and now since all my my green is all washed and stuff, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my pot. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I'll do it, you guys. It's gonna be really, really good. See? And you know what? You know what? You don't really have to. Ooh, popping. 
you really don't have to add water. I used to add, like you said, you saw all the glitter. I used to add like um, chicken broth, you know, to keep the flavor. Okay? Keep doing it so you guys see I'm going with this, okay? Okay, I added all my greens now. See? So now I'm going to add um, some chicken broth. That's the one I use. Yeah. And that should be enough if you want a full. But this is going to keep the flavor in, you guys, of the collard green. Everyone deserves the best. Let's see what I'm talking about, you guys. Look how it, look how it don't. Wow. So what I'm going to do is, I don't really like this pot. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into another pot. But look how, see? Crazy. Nothing but water. Okay, now you guys see? Look. So this is supposed to be seven. But you look at a little small pot. That's how much, I guess, collard green got a lot of water to it. But yeah, but it's going to be good. Yep. Now I'm just gonna add my season. So I'm gonna this right here. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of, of garlic. Just eyeball it. Sprinkle it with some salt. I don't want to put too much. I'm going to dash your face. Not too much. Can just stir it up? Okay, you see you guys, I uh, see all the juice. I didn't put no kind of water, nothing. Just a little chicken broth. See how much you're making the juice. Alrighty. That's how you make my collard green, you guys. Nice and green. Oh, you guys have forgot to add a teaspoon of my sugar. Forgot like that. Forgot like that. Okay. guys um you don't really have to add jalapeno this is optional and if you think just because i'm adding three it's going to be very spicy but it's not i just cut off the end i just you know because it's going to break a pause so that's option you guys don't have to put it in there this is something that i just i like mine without i put a little Okay, now I'm going to cut up my turnip. Okay, so now I'm going to put in my turnip and see how I cut it up. And that's the last part of me cooking my collard green. Okay? And then, like I said, I guess my camera kind of cut off. You guys don't have to add these jalapenos. 
because it, this right here is oxygen, you know. It's not going to be so you guys, you don't really have to add. I put three, so you don't have to add this. This is option, so this is something I like to add, you know. Alrighty. So this is all we're going to add in my collard green, okay? Okay, now I'm going to make my uh, homemade southern cornbread. And this is how they do it. Um, they heat that oil when they make the cornbread. That's how they do it in the South. Well, that's how my mom do it, to get the oil real hot. Yeah. Okay, see how I do this, you guys? Yep, that's how they make it in the South. Then you put it in the oven. Got you some good homemade. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, now I'm going to cook my steak. So I are. Before I put my salt and black pepper, I'm going to put some oil on it. Just kind of rub it in. Oops. See how I rub it in? And yes, my hands is clean. And that's all you need for the T-bone steak. Black pepper. So I season this on both sides. Okay. Let's rub it in. So I sprinkle some of that on it. And I just hide it. That's what it is. Sprinkle some of that on it as well. Ah. Now I'm about to put my steak. Call the juicy steak. Look, nice and brown. I don't know why that ate like that. Now I'm going to use this to, uh, I'm going to do some mushroom, you see that, it's got the garlic hair, it's a hair butter sauce, and I'm going to put my pork steak back in. I'll just put half of it in there. No, this right here is good.
my collard green is ready. Let's wear this my color bread. And the T-bone steak with mushroom. Now I'm just to make the plate. Okay, my daily sale. Like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share with your friends and family. And if this your first time watching my cooking video, also share, 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 share with your friends and family as well. And I also hope you guys already subscribed to my cooking channel. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And by that being said, if you guys want to see the upload video that I post on my cooking channel, just make sure that you um, turn, turn on your notification bell and you will see the latest upload video that I post on my cooking channel. By that being said, you guys have a safe, safe night and be blessed. A big steak, right? T bone steak. Collard green.